Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 4, Promise Revisited. It <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Just got back from sushi. Uh, in the last episode, we uh, unlocked the rest of the DLC classes and characters. Among them, Marona, Ash, the Medic, and the Necromancer. Now, if you take a look at my uh, character levels, you can see I've been uh, been kind of power grinding everybody. Everybody's got a everybody's got a heck of a lot of move and some pretty high levels too. So uh, the rest of this story content is going to be no problem, right? <laughs> Let's start by going to the time traffic shop. Let's go to the Fuka and Desco show. This was uh, this was DLC on the uh, on the PS3 version of this game, uh, but here it's included by default. So let's go see what Fuka and Desco are up to in the post game. After I raise the volume a bit, because uh, I'm not even going to be able to hear anything. One dark night. A blood red moon rises in the Hades sky. Oh, it's the red moon! A tragedy opens under the glow of the ominous yet beautiful red moon. In the name of Death Amazel, I hereby deliver thy soul to the red moon! At least Amazel's taking his job seriously. That's good. Unlike Etna, who does not want the Prinnies to reincarnate at all, or what's that with Harl? He's doing his job, Fuka. Go away. Are you stressed out or something? Did they piss you off? Or is it just because they're brinnies? What are you talking about? I knew you were crazy to begin with, but have you finally lost your mind completely? You're the one who's out of your mind. Desko can't believe you're attacking these helpless prinnies from behind. You monster! <laughs> well, I am a demon and death. As death, it is my duty to reap the souls of the prinnies who have paid off their sins and to send them to the red moon. I'm just doing my duty, understand? It's my J O B. Now go away and leave me alone. Are you sure she can spell job? To the red moon. Oh, I think I remember a pretty telling me something about that a long time ago. I completely forgot about it until now. How could you forget about it? This pertains to you too, you know. What do you mean by that? I'm Fuka, not a pretty. I'm still an active middle schooler. <laughs> She's just gonna hang around in the netherworld forever. <laughs> sure. Okay. Whatever. This is all a dream, and you're not dead. So can you leave me alone now? I've got things to do. If we're done talking. I think my microphone is uh, is picking up the lawnmowers outside. I sure hope not. Wait. What are you two doing here anyway? Even if the Red Moon is out, it doesn't mean anything to Prinnies who haven't paid off their sins. Me and Desko were just checking out the moon. We've never seen a Red Moon like that before. Yes! And then we saw a bunch of Prinnies wandering around. So we followed them here. Hmm, I see. Well, you guys didn't mean any harm. I gotta get back to work now, so go home and go to bed! I don't mind leaving you alone, but answer one thing for me. What happens to the souls of the Prinnies after they're sent off to the Red Moon? They are cleansed of their sins from their past life, 
and the purified souls are sent back to the human world. Back to the human world? Does that mean... They start a brand new life as a human. New... life? Seriously? So is that rumor true? You know, about that thing that makes wishes come true? Wishes come true? What do you mean? Does it have anything to do with purifying sins? Don't even listen to her, Amazel. She's just an idiot. Oh, I see. Okay. I know you don't want to say it out loud, and I don't want to get you in trouble. What are you talking about? You're not making any sense. Uh-huh, sure. <laughs> Now she's laughing about something? Are you sure she's okay? What's the matter, big sis? Have you really lost your mind? Did she ever find it? <laughs> no way! I finally figured it out! My ticket to waking up from this nightmare! Alright, let's start strategizing, Jesco! Jesco has no idea what's going on, but she will do anything for Big Sis. I bet she hasn't figured anything out. My guess too, Measel. Well, let's get back to work. And this is how Fuka's epic plan to awaken from her nightmare began. What kind of plan did Fuka come up with after their intensive meeting? Where can I find the most money in the netherworld? You've got to know, right? From when you were stealing all that money. How many times do I have to tell you? I was only collecting the money that was supposed to be going to Celestia. If you use the word stealing to describe my actions one more time, I will slap you with a big fine. Anyway, the area with the most money I've already collected from Fort Knockers, so right now... I suppose the Mint would be your best bet. It's the place that makes all the currency that's circulating around the Netherworld. But why do you want to know about things like that all of a sudden? Big Sis is trying to gather a lot of money to pay for her sins. What? Then that means... You're finally admitting that you died! You're finally able to accept it! I'm so proud of you, Fuka! It takes a lot of courage to accept your own death. Ugh! How many times do I have to say this? I'm not dead! Plus, why are you so happy? You're acting like you want me to be dead. That's not what I meant. If you still think this is a dream, then why are you trying to pay off your sins to begin with? I couldn't put an end to my nightmare, even after defeating the Netherworld President, those aliens, and Fear the Great. So, I changed my mind and figured I might as well try to pay off my sins as a printing. I mean, what else is there for me to do? Take over the Netherworld? I don't know. <laughs> Go to some other disc guy again! Well, aside from changing your mind... Basically, you've decided to take the righteous path as a Prinny. But, Fuka, you have to understand one thing. Prinnies pay off their sins by earning money through work. Sure, the Mint makes a lot of money, but working there doesn't mean that you will earn a lot of money. Dude, she's planning a heist. I mean, isn't it obvious? Have you seen our levels, Artina? We'll be fine. 
It's not going to be as easy as you think. That's why I'm talking to you, Artina. Seeing as how you're a professional repo lady, you should help me. What? Are you telling me to help you pull a heist? As an angel, I can't possibly do that. Oh, yeah? You haven't returned to Celestia because you aren't done collecting money from the Netherworld, right? No, it's because she vampire married uh, Valva Torres. If you're here just to collect money, then this is one of the best opportunities you're ever going to get. Or are you hanging out in the Netherworld because you don't want to leave Valzi? Forbidden love between a demon and angel? Is it more exciting because it's taboo? No, I'm here to collect. The Netherworld still owes Celestia about 199,900,000,000 health. That's so much! What are we waiting for? We need to hurry! Oh? Well, no. The Netherworld is just starting to recover, so we... I think Artina is making excuses. Oh, really? So you're just taking your time, hanging out with Valsy? Quick, on to the mint! It feels like I'm being coerced into doing this, but whatever. It'll be my pleasure to help you. <gasps> Yay! With Artina on our side, we're gonna get that money for sure! It, is that a compliment, or...? Hey there, everyone! We're playing Persona 5! <laughs> Except not really. So yeah, Fuka and Desko are the main characters now. Who do we have in our party? Um, it looks like uh, we have everybody but Val, Fenric, and the Measle. That's fine. Lance, why is your HP so low? Alright, anyway. Trying to listen to the music here. I, I can't even tell. Whatever it is, it's less memorable than the Raspberry scene. <laughs> President Axel's commemorative coin. <laughs> this is absurd. Indeed, Axel is just an idiot. And we wouldn't have it any other way. I guess that's everybody. Let's buy the rest of the music that we haven't bought yet. From all the DLC characters. Gonna have to uh, listen to all these at some point, but not right now.
Okay, now let's actually get to what we were going to do this whole time. You know, like 15 minutes into the video. Okay, let's go see what kind of things the Mint has to offer. Starting with Recon! Ooh, how very Phantom Thief-like! Um, please stop using the word thief. What's the big deal? It's so sexy sounding, isn't it? We're here to steal your heart. This game came out before Persona 5, right? I'm pretty sure it did. <laughs> oh no, it's Flan. No, she's here to be a phantom thief. Yes, that's right. You girls are about to make a big and terrible mistake. How can you establish a phantom thief game without having a cool TV? Um, Lady Flan? Just checking, but this means the Archangel officially approves the thief gang part, right? Oh uh, yes, but only because she's a weeaboo. <laughs> Obviously, rule of cool. Of course it is. The three of you have formed a phantom thief game for crying out loud. You have to have a team name. It's the law. You would be good. <laughs> it's that important, huh? I wonder who the god of phantom thieves would be. Doing it for the sake of comedy. Please do your best. Oh, okay. Then let's focus on how you are Phantom Thieves and that there are three of you. The Phantom Thieves, the third! Really? That sounds wrong in so many ways. Yes, that, that is terrible grammar. How about the Yatagarasu? What the heck is Bobby anyway? Final boss of a Shin Megami Tensei game. <laughs>
where she goes. It's hard to tell whether she's really busy or has too much time on her hands. Lady Flan only visited us to make sure everything was going to be okay. She was worried about us. Yes, that's right. Plus, having a name will come in handy when we send a warning letter to the Mint. So coming up with our name was very important. A warning letter? Why should we do that? They're gonna be waiting for us when we get there. We are completely justified to collect money from them, so they have the right to know. It's important that we give them a warning. The piece of paper that I taped now over the light on my microphone fell off. I'm gonna be staring into the light forever. That's not quite what I meant, but it's close enough. Please let me know when you figure out how much money you're going to collect. All of it! I will write up a traditional noble warning letter for us. Okay, Artina, you take care of all the formalities. The beautiful Phantom Thief Triangels gracefully set off on their first mission! <laughs> Lady Flan, I feel like I'm heading straight down the path of a fallen angel full speed ahead. Am I just thinking too hard? Okay! A moment of greed. Bonus rank 40, huh? Let's go. Doesn't mean we'll be getting rank 40 items, but uh... Yeah, let's go! So this is the mint. Hmm. Kinda makes me laugh just thinking about demons being hard at work printing money in there. Tesco is pretty sure they just force printies to do it. Yeah, sounds about right. If we take money from them, they'll have to work harder to make more. Then, they'll be able to pay off their sins a lot faster. Oh, this is like killing two birds with one stone. Go Big Sis! That's perfectly logical. If you're hearing something right now, it's my brain shutting down. It seems like you're only trying to justify your actions to me. No worries. All's well that ends well. Beautiful Phantom Thief Triangels, we're gracefully gonna case the joint. Are we walking through the front door? Now you're being really ridiculous. We need to be more careful. We're not taking their money yet, so we don't need to sneak around. We should ask to take a tour. Oh, sneaking around isn't suitable for Big Sis or a final boss. Hey, you two, calm down or they'll find us. Stop right there! Meow! Who are you? This is a corrupt government facility. Meow! Authorized personnel only. Uh, that was quick. A corruptionment facility? Authorized personnel only? Who do you think I am? I'm Fuka Kazamatsuri, the girl who saved this netherworld from crisis after crisis. With her sister, Desko! And this is the angel, Artina! We are the beautiful phantom thief! Wait, Desko! You just told them all of our names! Fuka? Meow? <gasps> You're one of the heroes who saved the netherworld with Tyrant Velvatoris? The unprinny who wound up in Hades because of her schemes for world domination? Meow? What did you say? I'm me, not a prinny. I'm perfectly fine. That's right! Big Sis is perfect! And the perfect Big Sis is here to check up on a facility in the netherworld she's saved! See, now, what you do with people like these is you you let them pass, and then when their back is turned, you whack them on the head with the band hammer. 
Did you really think I'd fall for that, you meow idiot? I don't know what you're up to, but I won't let you. Meow, 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 meow. Meow. Don't think you guys are all that just because you know about Torrent. Meow. Go back to Hades, idiots. Meow. Stop calling me an idiot, idiot. If you won't let us in, then we'll resort to force. Yes. Anyone who calls Big Sis an idiot will be punished by Desco! I suppose this is bound to keep happening as long as I hang around these girls. Yep, get out while you still can, Artina. Because I actually like you. I don't like Fuka. What do we got here? Oh. I think I forgot to turn the enemy difficulty back down to zero. Oh well. I'm Surreal Canine! That doesn't matter to me. Just gonna wreck everything. Also, if I smash this, then uh, the map just got that much easier. Like so. Sorry, treasure chest, but I do not care about any treasure chest that is not legendary. <laughs> not at this point. That didn't work as well as I was hoping. Oh well. It kind of worked. Yeah, uh, as you can kind of see, I've been uh, I've been hard at work leveling up my guys. Except Lance, I don't know what he's. Yeah, I could level up Lance if I wanted. I think I'm better off just uh, just chucking printies around. Ready for me? Oops. No. Oh, well. Don't know what that says. But, uh, yeah, the Spellkeeper just slashes through the entire solar system. <laughs> it's pretty great. Let's see what these cats do. Oh, yeah, these guys are Death Sabers, right? They're not, uh, yeah. Meow. Meow meow. Meow meow meow. And all of that nonsense. That's a nice set of uh, things we got. Take over the men's meow? That's the reason that I'm pretty. 
a final boss who dreams of world domination and the Angel of Avarice are here. Meow. N no, that's not. Artina is right. That's not true. Desco was created by Big Sis's daddy to help Big Sis make her dream come true. Desco isn't the one who wants to take over the world. That makes a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> Comically missing the point. Stealthy Phantom Thieves ever. What is graceful about this? This is a very short Omake segment. So, yeah, that kind of happened. Uh, that kind of happened. <laughs> <laughs> 